Worship His Holy Name. Hi, my friends. Thanks for joining me. I'm Brian. This is Man of Faith Ministries, and we're starting the book, chapter one of the book of the Second Corinthians today been really excited to get onto second corinthians so let's get stuck into it chapter one of second corinthians paul an apostle of jesus christ by the will of god and timothy our brother to the church of god which is at corinth and all the saints who are throughout Achaia. grace to you and peace from god our father and the lord jesus christ Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our afflictions so that we will be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort which we ourselves are comforted by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are ours in abundance, so also our comfort is abundant through Christ. But if we were afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation or if we are comforted it is for your comfort which is effective in the patient enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer and our hope for you is firmly grounded knowing that you that as you are sharers of our sufferings so also you are sharers of our comfort verse 8 for we do not want you to be unaware brethren of our affliction which came to us in Asia that we were burdened excessively beyond our strength so that we were despaired even life indeed we had the sentence of death within ourselves so that we would not trust in ourselves but in God who raised the dead who delivered us from such a great peril of death and will deliver us he on whom we have set our hope and he will deliver us yet you also joining in helping us through your prayers so that thanks may be given by many persons on our behalf for the favour bestowed on us through the prayers of many. Verse 12, titled Paul's Integrity. For our proud confidence is this, the testimony of our conscience that in holiness and godly sincerity, not in fleshly wisdom, but in the grace of God, we have conducted ourselves in the world and especially toward you. For we write, write nothing else to you than what you read and understand. And I hope you will understand until the end, just as you also partially did understand us, that we are your reason to be proud as you also are ours in the days of our Lord Jesus. Verse 15. In this confidence, I intend at first to come to you so that you might twice receive a blessing, that is to pass your way into Macedonia and again from Macedonia to come to you and by you to be helped on the journey to Judea. Therefore, I was not facilitating when I intended to do this, was I? Or what I purpose, do I purpose according to the flesh, so that with me there will be yes, yes, and no, no at the same time? But as God is faithful, our word to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Christ Jesus, who was preached among us, among by us, by me and Silvanus and Timothy, was not yes and no, but yes in him. For as many as are promises of God, in him they are yes. Therefore also through him is our may men to the glory of God through us. Verse 21. Now he who establishes us with in Christ and anointed us is God, who also sealed us and gave us the Spirit in our hearts as a pledge. But I call God as witness to my soul that to spare you I did not come again to Corinth, not with we, Lord, it over you. Not that we lord it over your faith, but are workers with you for your joy, for in your faith you are standing firm. Fantastic. That's the end of chapter 1 in 2 Corinthians. Next time we've got chapter 2, which is titled Reaffirm Your Love. Looking forward to getting into that one. So please join us for that. Go back, watch other videos in this series. And I've got over a thousand other videos just in the daily scriptures on this channel as well. Until next time, please stay safe, take care, and may the Lord bless your day.